Hi, and welcome to the fourth edition of Developer News, the weekly video updates that we're doing since last month. And uh, we are happy to see more and more uh, viewers uh, looking at that. I am happy also to introduce our game designer, whom you may know as Dragiron on the forums. He's here today with me, and he says that he will only say yes, no, or maybe. Hi. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the, um, the goal of today's update is to talk about two new cards that we will introduce uh, with the launch of the autumn season on the 20th of October. Uh, the first card is called Toxic Waste and it's playable in uh, the dump. Uh, is this correct? Yes. This card is criminal. Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and essentially the idea behind this card is that you get paid to utilize toxic waste. So you're making quite a lot of money, right? Right. Right, yes, that's, that's a different word. Uh, you're making quite a lot of money and um, you can play another... No, you cannot play another card. You're just making money in, in extra, the you get an extra turn. Ah, you get an extra turn, okay. But if you use this card to move, then you will skip turn. So that's a kind of a card that is difficult to get rid of. Uh, the other card, and that's gonna be the first criminal card in the dump. The second card is called Evil Statue, and you should be able to see it right now flying through the screen. Thanks to Andre. Uh, this card is played in, in, in the treasure. Uh, is this a criminal card? Maybe. Uh, <laughs> this card, just like all of the cards in the treasure, is free. You don't have to pay for any cards playable in the treasure because, as Alexis says, that's uh, the nature of the location because there's already uh, uh, a misfortune spot on the way in and also it takes quite a long way to go up to the treasure and then to go back. Uh, and this is a permanent card? Yes. And uh, this card gives you money, 50, 50 gold, every time uh, any other player plays a card that gives them... No, no when you play the card... Then... When, when you play, okay. So whenever I play the card that gives me malice, I'm gonna get also 50 gold. Yeah. Okay. So that's, that's one of the kind of uh, rewarding cards for those players who like to play in a bad way. Uh, and that's two new cards that we will introduce with the other season. Now, I also wanted to touch base on the five cards that uh, Alexei changed with the last update. And those are... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm mixing up the names of different cards in different languages. So, properly paid bribe, that's one of the cards that we changed. And it now, instead of teleporting you to the Inferno or to the Astral Plane, it now teleports you to any other bribe spot. So, it becomes weaker in this sense. Uh, and if you want to go to the Astral Plane, then you can teleport to be right next to it, but still you'll have to wait for one more round for going into the astral plane. And the reason for uh, making it cheaper but also changing the mechanics is that it used to be very beneficial and very easy. Is this mm -hmm. is this correct? And uh, hard to control by an, um, another player. Oh yeah, 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 because you said, you said that if you see someone going to the marketplace, then you can suspect that they have fast and fair but because there's a lot of bribe spots around the playing field, then you would not be able to detect someone going to the bribe spot to play this card and then teleport to the Inferno, the Astral Plane, and then pretty much finish the session by playing some strong card. Okay, the second card that got changed was uh, political shopping in the planet. And some people complain on the forum that this is a useless card, blah, blah, blah. I saw quite a lot of people using this card when they were competing for uh, the elections, when they really needed these three votes to change their uh, standing. But now you made it stronger because you can play one more card, right? Mm -hmm. and, and basically this makes this card more useful without making it 
game breaking. It, it's a little bonus, like you will now you will keep it and play it together with another big card that you can play on the black. Yes. So similar to, for example, the office where you have the office day and then you're gonna play office day and then something else. And whenever you play against strong opponents, it's quite a common thing to see someone doing office day, office day, and then boom, good deal, and then there's a lot of money flying in. All right, the next card that got changed is Justice. In, in, it's, it's playable in the court. Yeah, Justice is served. And what changed here is that now you have a choice. Uh, so basically now you have a choice of uh, uh, whom to target. An opponent of your choice has to pay you one score point, and if that opponent has the highest malice, then they are arrested. So could be that you will play this card on someone who doesn't even have score, but you want to arrest them because they have the highest malice. Could be that there is a combination. Okay, so, so that card basically got tweaked and then you pay with votes and you said earlier that you would like to make votes a more practical resource in the game uh, so people don't only use them for the votes uh, for, for the elections and, and and then just forget about them until the next round but people look at votes as something that is useful at all times and if you have a chance to go to the tribune and score some votes then you're going to use that chance because it's important to have votes that allow you to play cards in uh, the courthouse. Uh, the next card that got changed is called the confiscation. And uh, what happens here is that it now costs you two votes and um, before it used to be free, right? No, it cost uh, 50 gold. Oh yeah, 50 gold, but two votes is much more uh, expensive than, than 50 gold, so there it is. And then the last card I got changed is called Investigation. So Investigation uh, is a card that you play on the police spot. You normally use it to teleport somewhere uh, where you suspect the other player has the card for. For example, someone is going to the astral plane and you do investigation on them and then probably you will find uh, the, the, the card they want to play in the astral plane and you go there instead of them, uh, taking away that card. Uh, so now it gives you one mouse, uh, which, which reflects what your idea that this was too strong or? It was too, too strong and too... You, you, knew, you knew yourself. Mm. Okay, okay. And, and this is the five card that we changed. Now, the other major topic before you wrap this, uh, this week's uh, uh, news video is the alternative playing field that you've recently designed. Uh, have you designed the alternative playing field? Maybe. <laughs> and now you should be able to see that field flying through the screen, so there is no denying that. Uh, we don't know yet when we're going to be able to uh, take it to production because that involves everyone on the team and we would like to finish spectator mode, uh, in-game tournaments and then Steam Workshop with home rules so you can change different rules of the game and see how that works out. And then we are very eager to start the production of the second game. Uh, at the same time, it would be a pity not to create this alternative field because we're all playing Gremlins a lot, so we would like to have a different experience. So when you were designing this alternative playing field, you wanted to use the same deck, the same cards, the same types of spots, but give a different feeling. Yes. And um, you see, we're working pretty well, like with the yes and no, I can conduct the whole interview. Uh, and and, and it, it, it's looking differently. Uh, as you can see, uh, locations change spaces. And, you leave Inferno, you go uh, straight into the middle of the uh, playing field. So Inferno exit from the Inferno becomes more powerful. Uh, treasure lost the misfortune spot on the way in, but at the same time there's a lot more bribes around there. And then you cannot go to treasure and then to the astral plane, but there is a fork in the road, so you have to make up your mind whether or not you go to one place or the other. At the same time, uh, as in your original field, 
Certain locations have short cycles, like the office, you know, you play a card in the office, you go around, you go back to the office and play another card. And certain locations, like, uh, I don't know, the bank? Bank and market marketplace. And marketplace, yeah. They're like, if you missed your stop, then you have to go all the way through and then go back. Um, and I think one thing changed that the plan now is also yes. uh, much harder to return to once you've played something. So that players with a lot of money will have a harder time uh, doing the same thing. All right, so we cannot confirm when we will do this, but um, be assured that we would like to do it as much as anybody else. And the community is just a question of uh, finding the production time for that. Uh, you know, both things are very exciting. Uh, delivering a new playing field will immediately give you a lot of new experience and a lot of fun, but also doing our second game is very important for us. It's gonna be a different game, and we're all pretty, pretty uh, excited about using the existing experience to make it faster, bigger, better, <laughs> darker, blood and mutants and all that stuff and magic. Uh, you know, there's no, almost no magic in, in the Gremlins. All right, so that pretty much wraps up the news for this week. Uh, the next uh, video will come just one day before the autumn season kicks in and we'll talk there about all the uh, new drops, uh, the, the system of crafting, uh, blueprints, what are those. We'll, uh, we'll play the new music that Anna has almost finished for the Halloween. We'll show you a glimpse of the new background with main menu, which is spooky and animated. Uh, and, and it will basically go through a bunch of that stuff. One last thing I forgot to mention is that for the moment there will be no new misfortunes because Alexi thinks that the deck, the misfortune deck, is already pretty much balanced. Adding more will disbalance it. But maybe at some point in a few updates there will be one more uh, misfortune that's already designed. But uh, it, 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 it concerns lawyers, uh, which uh, is very funny on its own. So, so and, and that's pretty much it for uh, today. Thanks for watching and see you next week. Yes? Yes. <laughs> Ciao.